hi guys welcome back to my channel so guys um in today's video i will be doing a reaction to a viral video that i saw going around um, i will be showing a clip from the video so guys let's get into it Father God of mercy, mercy, mm, Father God, mercy, Father God, mercy, 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 Father God, mercy, 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 Father God, Father God, mercy, mercy, Father God, Father God, mercy, mercy, Father God of mercy. Okay, so guys, I have two main points that I want to bring across in terms of what I've seen in the video. So, um, what you see basically is like a mission. Um, you know, the police disappeared to know what they're going for, what they're there for, and they seem to be on a mission. Now, we know the problems that we're facing in the society. We know the problems that we're facing um, in Jamaica where um, criminals are blatant. Um, they don't really have any respect for the law. They don't really have any respect for the police. And they'll just do what they want to do. Now, as a member of the force, it's a very hard, it's a very hard challenge that a police will face. I myself, as an ex-military soldier, have that experience to know um, when you come upon um, difficulties. However, I was a soldier in the UK. And it's completely different as opposed to Jamaica. And of course, we know soldiers are given way more respect than the police. And I think mainly that's because of the way the police carry out, of the way the police conduct their duties. Not that they don't have issues um, in the military. Um, however, we find that um, when it comes on to the police, there's a, there's a bit of enmity between the police and majority of residents. And you, you tend to find this enmity um, in the garrison, you know, in the, in the inner city. That's where you tend to find this enmity. And there are various factors that is affecting crime fighting in Jamaica. And is one of the main reasons why we're not seeing a reduction in crime. And, and this is because when it comes down to the police approaching the inner city, their approach is way different. And I've witnessed this where... Um, the police approach is different compared to how they would conduct themselves in a more affluent community. And am I saying that it's mainly their fault? No. Obviously, um, rules are there. Our people adjust based on um, how they're based on the environment and based on what they're going to come upon. However, will this solve the issue? No. This will not reduce crime. This will just create more anger more frustration, more hatred for the police. Because at the end of the day, you can't fight fire with fire. At the end of the day, if you use the same approach that is given to you, you'll never end up anywhere. You'll only come back to square one. Because at the end of the day, you can't beat hate with hate. You have to beat hate 
with love so looking at the video um the approach of the police um the way they entered the compound and everything don't get me wrong it may be a case you know as the saying goes dopey you know who for frightened when it comes on to the fact that you will never find residents whether the person being harmed is involved in wrongdoing or is innocent residents would never face off with um criminals coming to do their acts if that was a criminal act, you'll never find the residents filming, shouting, screaming, doing none of that. Because as the saying goes, dopey no who for frightened. Because people are not afraid of the police. Don't listen to what nobody say. Because if people were afraid of the police, they would not stand there with that camera filming the police. Because clearly, if that was a criminal conducting their act, the residents would be running running for their life and they would not even come out until um the act is completed but of course it's the police they know the police is not gonna harm them you understand they know the police is not gonna harm them filming and so on and so forth however as i mentioned before the approach of the police is not going to make anything better whether or not the person that they have taken out is innocent or guilty it doesn't matter because what you need to understand is that and this is something that we all know as jamaicans that police if they're gonna come take you out they're gonna take come take you out and when i say police i'm talking about jamaican police if they're gonna come take you out they're gonna come take you out um it doesn't matter if you're unarmed it doesn't matter if you didn't put up a fight it doesn't matter what if they decide that they're gonna come and take you out and that is the major problem this is one of the main reasons why residents do not trust the police or see the police as the law where they need to uphold or they need to look up to because of the approach that is often carried out in inner city communities as officers of the law we have to have a different approach we can't fight the fire with the fire because all you're gonna get is more fire can you imagine a house is burning down and you go to the house and you keep throwing more fire on the house what's gonna happen the blaze is gonna get higher and higher and higher however if you throw water on the fire the fire will eventually die but now i know a lot of people don't share this sentiment because they believe an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth the person looking on from their tv would, would probably say oh that person may have done this or that so um the police approach is correct no it doesn't matter if someone have, has committed a thousand murder you cannot and i think this is the approach of the police they feel like because the criminals are having this aggressive approach or they are taking it on to the police the police feels like this is the best way to fight the fire you can't beat heat with heat you only can beat heat with love it always has to be the positive so the police continue to have this approach where there's execution style whether the person is innocent or guilty it should never be left up to the enforcing officer because at the end of the day what you're creating is more anger more hate in the community and don't get me wrong i'm not talking about a case where a police is on the road and criminal engage the police and the police fire back and your life is taken i'm not talking about that case i'm talking about cases where police approach homes and the person may not even be harmed or the person may not be fighting back and this is something i know as a fact that it happens a lot because like i said i'm from an inner city community and the, the person may not be fighting back and the police just decide they're the ones they come for and there's nothing that that person can do to stop that the police just decides you're gonna die today are you gonna live today and that is wrong because the approach has to be different because i'm not gonna say um focus on the residents behavior you know oftentimes with the police and the police may not have warranted the aggression but as soon as they come in the, the residents have aggression i understand that however you can't give them back aggression to solve the problem because the police needs the residents in order to fight crime because it's the residents that will help the police to catch the criminals and it's the residents that needs to build trust in the police and to build trust you can't have a negative approach a lot of people a lot of good citizens in in a city that does not uphold the slackness of the criminals that does not want that in their community 
but they're afraid because of corruption. They don't trust the police and they don't have that level of respect because oftentimes the police behavior, how they conduct themselves in the communities as if they're no different. And that is why we have problems. But also, my final point, I do understand the strain. I do understand how difficult it is, it is to co police communities because, of course, people have the strength to protest, to shout at the police whenever it's the police. But if it was a criminal that is harming someone, people would not be that brave to stand up. How many children get murdered? How many innocent people get killed by criminals? But people will not stand up and protest because at the end of the day, they will be afraid of losing their own lives. But because it's the police, people just know the police is not going to turn their gun on you and decide, right? I understand policing in inner city is hard. However, to have the same approach of aggression towards the residents, it's not the right way because you will be getting nowhere, nowhere when it comes to building trust and confidence, and which will help to stem crime. And that's my thoughts for today. So guys, I do hope you found this video insightful. Um, I hope you found the points that I raised regarding this video um, insightful as well. Um, so please do share your comments in the comment section below, guys. Um, do like the video, give it a thumbs up. Likes are very good for my videos. You know, it helps the channel as well. So please do give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and you like the content and what I do. Until next time, Godspeed. Big ups. Bye, guys. Bye.